In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college football games happening on December 27, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Louisville vs. Southern California, the DirecTV Holiday Bowl is set to showcase an exciting clash between the number 15 Louisville Cardinals and the Southern California Trojans on Wednesday night. Notably, both teams are grappling with the absence of several key players who have either chosen to opt out in preparation for the NFL draft or have entered the transfer portal. In their most recent outings, Louisville suffered a setback in the Atlantic Coast Conference Championship, succumbing to a 16-6 defeat against Florida State as one and a half point favorites, while Southern California faced a season-ending loss to UCLA, falling 38-20 as five-point favorites. It's worth mentioning that these two teams did not cross paths in the previous season. The Louisville Cardinals, boasting a 10-3 record for the season, secured the second position in the Atlantic Coast Conference standings. Despite stumbling in their final game against Florida State in the Atlantic Coast Conference Championship, the Cardinals showcased a commendable season with victories over notable opponents such as Notre Dame, Duke, Virginia Tech, and Miami. The Louisville offense, led by quarterback Jack Plummer, averages 31 points per game, with Plummer amassing 3,063 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, and 12 interceptions. On the defensive front, Louisville is allowing an average of 20 points per game. On the other hand, the Southern California Trojans, with a 7-5 record, concluded the season tied for fourth in the Pac-12 standings. Despite starting the season with six consecutive wins, the Trojans faced a downturn, losing five of their last six games. Notable defeats included losses to UCLA, Oregon, Washington, Utah, and Notre Dame. The Trojans' offense has been prolific, averaging 42 points per game, but their defense has struggled, conceding an average of 35 points per game. Notably, Southern California will be without key players who opted out, including 2022 Heisman winner Caleb Williams. Both Louisville and Southern California enter the Holiday Bowl with a two-game losing streak, aiming to salvage their seasons with a victory. Despite a couple of setbacks, Louisville exceeded expectations throughout the season, anchored by a resilient defense that limited opponents to less than 20 points per game. Quarterback Jack Plummer played a pivotal role, Atlantic Coast Conference emulating over 3,000 passing yards and 21 touchdowns. Against Southern California's defense, which allowed 31 passing touchdowns in the season, Plummer is poised for success. Southern California had high aspirations for a college football playoff appearance in 2023, but a late season slump dashed those hopes. Now, with 20 players opting out, including Caleb Williams, the Trojans turned to quarterback Miller Moss for his first career start. However, facing the 31st ranked defense in SP+, Moss faces a challenging debut. The line heavily favors Louisville, justified by Southern California's struggles against tougher opponents in the latter part of the season. Southern California his 7-5 record even with Caleb Williams at full strength suggests challenges ahead without key players. Their top running back, leading receiver, starting cornerback, and others will be absent. In contrast, Louisville retains most of its top players, including quarterback Jack Plummer. Southern California's poor performance against the spread and limited success since September 23rd indicate a tough matchup against Louisville's defense. In the upcoming game, Louisville brings a top-ranked defense against Southern California's backup quarterback and backup running back. The Trojans, with their inexperienced starters, may heavily rely on the running game, facing Louisville's 14th rank rush defense allowing 102 yards per game. Despite missing key offensive pieces, Louisville, led by veteran quarterback Jack Plummer and running back Isaac Garendo, aims to capitalize on Southern California's vulnerabilities. While Southern California may lack motivation, Louisville has compelling reasons to perform well. Head coach Jeff Brom seeks to bolster the program's standing, and key players eyeing the NFL draft aim to enhance their value. With notable players like quarterback Plummer, running back Garendo, and defensive standouts, Louisville is poised for a strong showing in the Halliday Bowl. So the Louisville Cardinals to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. 
The absence of key players significantly impacts Southern California's offensive capabilities, making it unlikely for them to match their season average of 42 points per game. Both teams are expected to focus on the ground game, particularly Southern California, relying on the run and short passing game with an inexperienced quarterback. While Louisville may improve on their six-point performance against Florida State, the game is expected to see reduced offensive output due to the absence of key talent. Considering the circumstances and the potential offensive limitations, the total set at 58 and a half points appears high for this Holiday Bowl matchup. Southern California's recent games trending towards the under, even with Caleb Williams, further supports the expectation of a lower scoring game. Thus, under the projected total is our recommended full game total pick for the Holiday Bowl. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical vs. Oklahoma State The upcoming Texas Bowl will feature a showdown between the Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies at NRG Stadium on Wednesday night. The Aggies, who started the season on a high note, concluded with a 7-5 record, facing some challenges along the way. On the other hand, the Cowboys, guided by a stellar performance from their coaching staff, secured a spot in the Big 12 title game and boast a commendable 9-4 record. The last and counter between these two teams occurred in 2019, resulting in a narrow three-point victory for the Aggies. Given the regional rivalry aspect, the outcome of this match remains uncertain, and fans are urged to secure their seats for what promises to be an exhilarating game. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical wrapped up their regular season in the Southeastern Conference with a 7-5 record, suffering a defeat to LSU in Baton Rouge, 42-30. The Aggies aim for a different outcome in the Texas Bowl, particularly against their former conference rivals. Displaying offensive prowess, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical averages 34 points per game, with 262.3 passing yards, 141 1.4 rushing yards and a 43.9% conversion rate on third downs. Following a setback in the Big 12 championship against Texas, where they fell 49-21, Oklahoma State stands at a 9-4 record. Eager to rebound, the Cowboys' offense, which averages 29.5 points per game, includes 264.2 passing yards, 156.8 rushing yards, and a 37.3% conversion rate on third downs. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical has faced challenges with player transfers, with 12 starters entering the transfer portal and not participating participating in the Texas Bowl. In contrast, Oklahoma State has only lost three players to the portal, none of whom were starters. The key player for the Cowboys is the award-winning running back, Ollie Gordon II, who recently announced his return for the 2024 season. Gordon's exceptional skills pose a threat to the Aggies' defense, especially considering the majority of agricultural and mechanicals defenders in this game will be second stringers. While Gordon's participation hasn't been confirmed at the time of writing, his return announcement suggests a strong likelihood. Ranking second in the country with 124.2 rush yards per game, Gordon is anticipated to pose a significant challenge to the depleted Aggie defense. Apart from Gordon, quarterback Alan Bowman has had a respectable season, with turnovers being his primary concern. However, facing Texas Agricultural and Mechanical, which ranks 120th in football bowl subdivision with only 11 turnovers forced this season, bodes well for the Cowboys. On the coaching front, Jimbo Fisher watches from afar, leaving interim head coach Elijah Robinson to lead the team in the bowl game, despite already being hired by Syracuse as a defensive coordinator. Former Big 12 rivals, these teams last met in the 2019 Texas Bowl, with the Aggies securing a 24-21 victory as minus five favorites. Despite significant changes in personnel and coaching staff for Texas Agricultural and Mechanical, they enter as favorites. Robinson's one-game leadership may limit changes, and the Pokes aim to exploit any weaknesses. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical has been strong against the run, but the challenge posed by Gordon, coupled with a lack of common opponents this season, adds an element of unpredictability. While Texas Agricultural and Mechanical may have the home crowd advantage in Houston, concerns persist regarding coaching stability and team consistency. In contrast, Oklahoma State has demonstrated greater consistency in recent months with a potent offense that could trouble the Aggies. The Cowboys also boast coaching staff stability, and with the motivation to achieve double-digit wins, they enter the Texas Bowl with a more favorable outlook. Anticipating a physical clash between two formidable teams, the Texas Bowl holds promise for the Cowboys, with the Aggies navigating a transition in leadership. The lack of continuity may prove challenging for Texas agricultural and mechanical, 
facing a veteran Oklahoma State team seeking redemption after a title game loss. Betting on the strong ground game of the Cowboys and factoring in their veteran experience, supporting Oklahoma State with the points seems like a prudent choice. While the Texas Bowl setting might suggest a relatively low-stakes matchup, the behind-the-scenes challenges facing the Aggies create skepticism about their ability to overcome a solid Oklahoma State squad. Trusting Oklahoma State becomes the more straightforward option, making the Oklahoma State Cowboys money line our recommended full-game side pick. In their previous encounter, these teams collectively scored 45 points, setting the stage for an exciting offensive display. Throughout the season, both squads witnessed seven of their games surpassing the total points projection, combining for an average of 64 points scored and 50.3 points allowed per game. Offensive firepower is evident on both sides. The Aggies have consistently scored over 30 points in their last five games, averaging 40 points over their recent three outings. Similarly, the Pokes achieved at least 40 points in four games this season, including two of their last three. With potent offensive weapons on both sides, coupled with a couple of years since their last meeting, the anticipation for an unleashed offensive spectacle is high. Recent trends favor the over, with the last three games for both teams exceeding the projected total. Consequently, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.